Hello, and welcome back to Quarantines. The things about quarantine. Today, we will be discussing local business. Recently, restaurants have laid off many servers and cashiers because they cannot afford to keep them on while there is no business on, in the dining room. Some restaurants, like Este Pizza on 21st South and 900 East, have closed their dining room but kept their pickups and to-goes open. Lucky for them, they have been busy enough to keep their cashiers and servers on just working different jobs. One owner of Este is Brooke Yardley. When I asked her how has the coronavirus affected her employees, she said, We were very lucky to have enough work to keep our staff working as many hours as they would like to. We've had some employees voluntarily take time off because they are high risk and are fearful of contracting the virus. Business is still booming at Este, and when asked how um, the business had, has been affected, Brooke said, The virus has obviously made it so that we cannot serve guests in the restaurant. Business has gone down some, but we are fortunate to have quite a bit of to go and delivery business. Delivering business has gone up as more people are afraid to go into restaurants. Not only that, but people have started to request and we have implemented a policy um, of no contact deliveries. No contact deliveries are where the food is brought to the house, left on the porch, and then texted um, the owner about um, the food on the porch. Other policies have been implemented not only in SA but other local businesses as well. Brooke says, we are not accepting cash payments and all orders have to be prepaid over the phone with a credit card so that our staff does not have to accept anything from the customers with their hands. We are carefully cleaning and sanitizing every surface at the beginning of the day, several times through the day, and again at the end of the day. We have recently provided our staff with masks that will be worn while working. These safety precautions not only protect customers, but they protect the employees inside. Other stores like Granite Bakery have gone to selling flour and yeast. These are high demand products because they are barely sold in stores anymore. Precautions like six feet apart lines have been taken all over the Salt Lake region and all over the country. For example, at Granite Bakery, they have little yellow strips of tape on the ground every six feet apart. The line moves in an orderly fashion on the yellow tape. Also, at Este, there have been signs social distancing, and those signs encourage people to stay six feet apart. More than ever now, it is important to support local businesses because they cannot afford to stay open and change your hours like the big box stores. Stores with pickup and to-goes and delivery are very valuable at this time, and I encourage you to take advantage of those and support your local businesses. This has been Quarantines, and thanks for watching.